Greetings, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for the operator meeting. My name is Hannah Hickam, and I'll be your host. And we don't really have anything on the agenda. We're just doing Q&A. So you can go ahead and drop your questions into the chat box, and I'll read them off momentarily. Oh. All right, and we have our first question. If a well is only an active list and a form of 5B submitted, Will it still have financial assurance obligations? Yes. It's a true will. The submitting the form 5B is one of the choices um, in the rules. The other choices are plug the inactive well within six months return the inactive well to production within six months, um, put the inactive well on your uh, plugging list by filing a form 6A, um, otherwise it's still inactive and it has financial assurance obligations. Great, thank you, Jane. If any other questions come in. You're welcome. Um, all right, we don't have any more questions right now. Um, Chris, did you want to show something online? Um, I'm happy to. Um, Jane, I've got this queued up if you want me to share the, from the... Okay, you're muted now, Jane. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Yes, please. Okay, let me get to that. Of course, I'm muted. <laughs> so if you just you want to open one, just hit edit. Okay, um, a draft one. Yeah, any one of them. Okay, let's just take this one then. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, edit. Yeah. So um, what Chris is going to show us or help us show us um, this is the form 5B. This is not a real one. It's in our testing environment. Um, and Chris, if you could click on the, the inactive well notice tab. So the form 5B is the inactive well notice. And um, if you could scroll down, Chris. So there's... Um, uh, uh, several lines that are auto-populated from the database. Um, so the first auto-populated data is the operator's current financial assurance option. The second one is uh, the commission order for the operator's most recently approved plan, uh, the document number of the most recently approved plan. Of course, nobody has any of those yet because they have no, we don't have any approved plans yet. Then the next section is the current financial assurance for this well. 
This is all auto-populated from the database. Um, this portion, the current financial assurance portion, it um, is not working correctly. Um, it's not pulling in the correct uh, plugging bonds for the operator. And not only that, for some reason, um, the PDF that's generated for this form has a different set of surety IDs, which also are not correct. But it's gonna take us a little while to fix it. Um, it none of this impacts the validity uh, and the compliance of you filing a Form 5B uh, inactive well notice. And we're actually gonna remove all of this information, um, but it's gonna take us a few weeks because we have other priorities that we're focused on. So if you notice that you look at this data in your form and, you, um, and it appears to you to be incorrect, it's really okay. Um, we'll take care of it soon. The thing that you do have to do though, that last line um, is required. It's not auto-populated. The operator has to answer that question. Um, the NA, the not applicable response, um, is really the only correct one for everybody at this point because nobody has an approved financial assurance plan. Um, in the future, um, the yes or the no will be accurate depending on what the operator's approved financial assurance plan is. Um, but right now, NA is the appropriate response. Um, I know a lot of folks have already submitted a whole bunch of these and a lot of people put no because they don't have a plan and that's okay too. But please don't be concerned about the auto-populated surety IDs and don't be concerned about what's populated on the PDF. We're gonna do a big cleanup and we'll take care of all of that. Um, and so don't let this hold you up from filing your form 5Bs as required. Are there any questions about this particular thing or anything else? Thank you, Chris, for driving. Sure thing. All right, let's see if there's any, there are not any more questions. Short and sweet. All right. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for being here. Um, email me, hannah.pickham at state.co.us if you need to be added to the email list. Um, I think that's all the reminders. All right, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Have a great day. Thanks, thanks everybody. Have a great holiday week. Everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving.